Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing our small bathroom makeover with you guys. I am so excited for this. This is just a small half bath that we have on our main floor and so it does get used quite often. And as you can see when you walk in the room, it is really kind of just underwhelming in here. There is nothing on the walls. It's not really decorated. It kind of feels cluttered because we don't have a whole lot of space in here. We don't have really anything organized. And so we are going to be tackling this entire space and we are also going to be doing it on a budget. The first area that I really wanted to deal with was underneath the sink. This was a total disaster down here. There was no rhyme or reason to it. Everything had just kind of gotten stuck in here. And it's an area that I have to get into often to clean and get extra toilet paper, but it's also a space that I really kind of dread opening up. So I am going to be organizing this space, but on a very small budget because I'm going to be using everything from Dollar Tree. So I wanted to talk to you guys about a website called Top Cash Back. That's where I got all the organizing bins and containers that I will be using in our small bathroom. And what Top Cash Back is, is they are a website or an app that you can go onto and get cash back for the items you purchase online at other retailers. They have over 4,000 retailers on their site like Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, the list goes on and on. And how it works is you just go onto their website or app and search whatever store you're looking for. So in this case, I was looking for Dollar Tree. I clicked on Dollar Tree and it took me right to the Dollar Tree website. And then I just started searching for the products that I was needing. For this particular project, I was looking for organizing bins as well as glass containers. And I found it's really nice to order from Dollar Tree online because I don't know about y'all, but I feel like the Dollar Trees around me are just so often picked over and the more neutral colors and the really popular items tend to sell out fast. So this way I can actually get the items I'm looking for as well as earn some cash back, which is always amazing. And right now Top Cash Back is offering y'all a $10 sign up bonus when you spend $25. So that means right now you can get an extra $10 back on top of the money that you get from your purchase online. So if you're going to be shopping online, you might as well get some money back. And I also love that they have no minimum payout. So whenever you earn cash back, you can get your payout at any time. I will have that link down below in my description box that will give you that extra $10 sign up bonus. So definitely go check that out and save some money whenever you shop online, which if you are anything like me, it is a lot, way more than I should be shopping online, but that's another story. I have been using this app for several months and I love how easy it is to use. And I always love feeling like I'm getting a little better deal on things that I'm going to be purchasing anyway. If you have used Top Cash Back before, let me know in the comments and also let me know what store do you shop online the most at? And somehow we get it right every time. Cause these days we're partners in crime. And I like it like that. We go all in and I'm falling. But I like it like, like it like that. So in this little cabinet, I am just putting everything that we really use often. So I'm putting extra rolls of toilet paper, some cleaning products, some baby wipes. And then of course I'm hanging up my son's potty seat, which you saw me put up with command hooks. But you'll also notice that I am not filling up every single space in here. And there is a reason for that. Anytime I organize a space, I really try to leave extra space because things are always going to change and grow and you're not going to have those exact same items in there constantly. And so you want to make it a space that can last and move with your family and with your needs. So that is why I'm leaving an entire bin untouched and unfilled.
So this little organizer I ordered off of Amazon and I love it. I feel like it's just given us so much extra space in this small little space. This would be perfect if you're renting a home and can't put anything on the walls. So I will link it down in the description box in case if you guys want to check it out. You are the one that I will call when I'm drunk You are the one that I just need to feel love Next, I am just putting up some decor signs that I got. I got this bath sign at Hobby Lobby and then I got the floral canvases at Marshalls and I am just putting them up with command strips, but I always love to use the Velcro command strips because I feel like these are the best for your walls or at least from what I have found, these are the ones that work best. And you will notice I do not measure pretty much anything. I always will just level it and then I just kind of eyeball everything else. My husband definitely gets onto me about this. He loves to measure everything twice and I don't measure at all, but I think we you eyeball things it just ends up looking good anyway as long as you get it level you're good to go let me know if anyone else is like that Moving on to the vanity, I didn't really want to do too much in here. I just wanted to kind of change up the look and make it look a little bit less cluttered and a little bit more minimal over here and only keep out the things that I really needed. So I just brought in a little cake stand from the Target dollar spot that I already had, changed out my soap dispenser to something a little bit more simple, brought in a brighter towel and just kind of moved things around until I liked how it looked. Okay, so excuse the shine, but I am almost done. I have this kind of set up how I want, and I love how this wall is turning out. But now I need to put some shelves that I ordered up here. Kyle is not home right now, so I have to wait for him to help me put them up. I could do it on my own, but I have messed it up once, and I just don't want extra holes in our wall. So I'm gonna wait for him, and then I'm gonna style those shelves, do a little bit more organization up here, and this bathroom is finally going to be done. I cannot wait to show you how it turned out. One, two, three, mm. Some say that love don't hurt, but I've got you stuck in my Once Kyle got home, I just had him start building these shelves for me. These actually are ones that I got off of Amazon and I did slightly DIY them. I just spray painted the brackets, they came black and I just spray painted them the off-white that I also used on our bar stools in the kitchen. And then they were also kind of like a gray color and I really wanted them to match the bath sign that I got. And so I just wiped some old English on them. It's not quite the same as a stain, but it worked pretty much the same. And I love how they turned out.
came to styling the shelves, I wanted to make them a little bit functional and also pretty. So I'm first starting out by adding in some Dollar Tree jars that I will later fill up with some useful bathroom items. And then I'm just adding a simple candle that I got from Bath & Body Works over the summer. I probably won't end up lighting this one, but I really, really liked the outside look. And then the rest of the decor I used in here was just things that I already had around the house. One of the last things I needed to do in here was just kind of fill up this wall over here. I felt like it looked really bare, and so I was just figuring out where I wanted this mirror to go. It's a mirror that I've had for a little while, but I believe I got this mirror from Marshalls. And that's actually a really good tip when you are decorating a space like a bathroom or a laundry room that doesn't have a window in it. Anytime you can add a mirror or especially like a window framed mirror like this, it just kind of gives off the illusion of having a window in the space and it really opens it up as well. Okay, it's so good. And you'll have to see at the end. I did all that without measuring. And look how good it is. It did turn out good. Looks like I measured it all. No, I didn't at all. Did you use any toothpaste? No, just command. The last thing I had to do was just add the finishing touch, which is just these cute little bathroom signs that I found at Hobby Lobby. They were half off, so I believe they were around $5 each. Definitely a good deal. And because this is a bathroom that our guests will use whenever they come to our house, I just thought this would be such a cute way to let people know where the bathroom was in case if they didn't already know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you tons of new ideas. If you have a small bathroom that you are trying to make over and just kind of make a space that's more functional and also beautiful, I will link a few of the items that I can find down below. And don't forget to take advantage of that top cash back sign up bonus where you can get an extra $10 back. I will have all the information down in the description box and it is totally free to sign up as well. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Paradise.